All right, uh, anything All right. else? Or are you guys going to go ahead and jump down? Well, I'd just like to stop off at the temple again. Okay. Um, yeah, um, Sarah, I believe it's... Well, actually, I don't think she introduced herself. Uh, Sarah's been um, running uh, the temple. Right. She's still there. All right, and I'd just like to go in and uh, meditate at the shrine there for a few minutes before okay. going off into okay. the uh, cave again. All right, well, Sarah pretty much just watches you, and then she got, continues on her business. She'll pretty much let you do your thing. Okay, man, uh, I'm good to head down. I'm just messing with my spellbook right now. All right. I have questions. What? Is there anybody in the town that's like a town elder or anybody that we would regard as knowledgeable in history? Knowledgeable in history? Yeah. I mean, there's Sarah, the priestess. I mean, and I mean, there's the mayor, but the mayor's not exactly a historian. He's just a retired knight. All right. But just then. but the fact that you have two arcane casters and a person that is literally specialized in the domain of knowledge, it's it seems like you guys actually probably are more in the know than majority of the people in in the town, including yourself. Including yourself. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like we know more about everything down here than anyone else does at this point. Yeah, I just, I remembered that I hadn't asked if there was, like, I don't know, just some super old elder guy doting in a house that was like, I have all the answers that we just haven't gone to. Okay. <laughs> now, I mean, as as far as what you know, I mean, do you guys actually see my NPCs listed? Because I have four listed, I think, for you guys. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, yeah, I those, are, those are the people that you generally know the most about. Um, you've heard, I mean, Sir Paragon is the, essentially the mayor, he's a retired knight. Sarah runs the temple, Arya runs the guard shack, and Garrett is the head of the militia. Um, and um, you've also and heard you rumors of possibly a witch being in the forest, but no one really has any direct knowledge about that stuff. The forest up north is, sometimes could be a little weird, but usually it's safe for hunting. Yeah. Um, beyond that, beyond you, that, the people come and go. Some Some people might be in the tavern and stuff like that, but they're not really people that stay in the town. You know, I just noticed the hunting lodge's name, and I applaud you. I think I used some generic name that I found. Just like <laughs> just like the name of the town was from Town Name Generator, as well as the forest. <laughs> so. Well, it's funny because, you know, Broken Arrow is also the Vietnam code for... Yeah, a, a know, nuke. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, live and learn. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's the Yeah, code didn't for... you see the movie Broken Arrow? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's no, what it, it was it... about? I thought it was about a was sad about... Native American guy. No. no it literally no. means scramble all air support. <laughs> no. Alright, so you three gather up um and go ahead and head down the um into the depths again. Uh the two guard the two uh, militia men that are outside the that are just kind of keeping watch and stuff. They've mentioned maybe hearing some chittering in the tunnel and maybe some hissing, but beyond that, nothing's come out of the hole. So, well, hissing's a little new. Well, they well spiders also hiss. I mean, they chitter and hiss and chirp and whatever. I've only seen camel spiders hiss. See, this what is why I asked for a description. Like, if these things look like camel spiders, then ugh. We should get the fuck out of here and burn the whole thing down. <laughs> right? Fuck this fucking dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Just anyway. Fill it with gas. <laughs> just burning hands. Cover right. it with a bigger rock. Well, you guys got, <laughs> you guys head down the tunnel. It's the same as before. Um, and you guys do reach the room that's filled with mist. Uh, the door that was kind of ripped open before is now shut again. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much as it was before. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it, or at least as normal as you can tell, it's kind of hard to tell with mist everywhere. We should animate the door and see if it becomes unhinged. Die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that the GM just became unhinged at that suggestion. <laughs> Rocks falls, awesome. everyone dies. No, wait, I've got it. We solve all the problems. You keep making terrible puns, and we do it near the entrance so the rocks fall and cover the entrance. That way we die, and we solve the problem. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Good end. Let's glad yeah, good end, obviously.
Everybody wins. Neutral ending. Which button? Is that the gray button? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are you Which, going? Which Mass Effect disappointment button do I press to get the neutral <laughs> ending? I just shoot the kid. <laughs> Vanguard, oh, charge the kid. the kid. Well, as I see it, we need to head here. I mean, this is the intersection to the two hallways. We haven't really explored entirely. Yeah, yet. yeah but we yeah, could we're... finish out this hallway down here. I didn't see which one you pinged. I think he's referring to the bottom room. Left. Bottom left. Bottom left. Bottom left. Yeah. That... And then this, there's not even a door here. We can take a whole step out of exploration right there. <laughs> just walking through it. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's head down that way. Then. Woo, let's go that way. Fuck yeah. All right. I'll lead the way. Yeah. Hurry up. Come on. I don't have all day. Let's go. Just just do what I'm doing, man. Zoom. Go through it all. <laughs> yeah. That was I'll, just, I'll just follow the Johnny-sized holes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you go ahead, because I'm not falling in another trap. All right. Oh, that's right. There could be another trap. Yep. Is it now? Well, don't walk in front of me, then you boo. <laughs> I did it. I did it. All right, so you're, to the door. So you're back to this hallway. This is where you guys first encountered your first uh, scary spider. Scary yes. spider. That I saw. Yeah. I saw it. Yep. All right, then. If the also, what are you guys doing for light sources? Is it just going to be light spells again? Do you guys even yeah, know light even spells? Know light. Oh God, I don't know a light spell. I don't have a light spell. You sure you don't? Oh, Nah, man, I think nah, that was all Dustin's all character. Are you serious? Shit. Yeah. You don't have yeah. you don't have you don't have the light spell cantrip. Uh, he has to. So Evo can The yeah, cantrip? It's it just a, a cantrip it's, for me. Light? It's just a cantrip. It's gotta be. I don't believe you. Continual light is a is a slotted spell, but light is just a cantrip. Oh well, I didn't get it. That's fine. And I'm guessing <laughs> I guess our cleric didn't either. <laughs> no, I really didn't. Well, I only How get long the choice of three last? cantrips at, fir at first level. It probably doesn't last the three days we've been outside doing fucking I know. investigation. Can we, well, you can, can use, we... I mean, if you have torches, you can just use a torch. I know, but would it be unreasonable to assume that if it lasts longer than, like, ten minutes, we ask uh, Dustin's character to give it to us before we leave? It does, well, light only lasts. I just don't know how long it lasts. Do, do, do. Light. Shit, I didn't even read the spell. I got night vision. God. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So does Bill. <laughs> exactly. But we were like, "Fuck light spells." No, we don't we don't do that that shit. Yeah, I was like, air, acid splash, firebolt, ray of frost, and then and then Brian says, "Well, you might want spell ward just in case." A uh, blade ward. Blade ward. Blade ward. Whatever. And yep. I got it. Yep. He yeah, told me about it, and I haven't fucking used it yet. Yeah, well, it's used for if, if for like defense, like if you're just getting fucked up, so you only be half fucked up. Yeah, but if, if, if there's enough people where I'm gonna get fucked up to where I need that, I'm God, I'm probably already fucking dead. Well, yep, the spells yep. I picked were resistance, mending, and sacred flame, and I think those are fairly important. Yeah, that's fine. Thank yeah, you very much. Uh, light only lasts for an hour, so. Plus, right. I don't, I don't need it because I have dark vision. So I mean, you can. I light a torch and have Nazmer hold it or something, or someone hold it, because I know you can't because you're using a two-handed weapon. And I can't and I use can't... it because I have to hold my spell book and, and cast my finger. You don't, you don't yeah, have to hold your spell hold book. You don't have to <laughs> literally hold the book. Yeah, you don't have to hold the book. Oh, well shit, I'll hold it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'll right. light a torch and toss it to him then. Oh my god, don't throw it at me! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you know how the skin is? Think yeah, I'm hoping I had torches because I I don't have any torches. The only thing I have is candles. All right. Uh, your dark vision goes. You you guys have dark vision up to sixty feet, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna. I just want to know so I can expand this yes. shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten or twelve. So it's gonna be like all the way to there. All right, so there's more of that. All right. Oh, Lord. So where do you wish to go? I'm just gonna round the corner. Is that a doorway? Corner. Um, 
Yeah, that's an opening right there. Okay. Um, and then there's a door right there, and all the way at the end, it seems to open up a little bit. What's in the opening? What's in the op all right. What's in the box? Uh, in the box. Twelve hobgoblins. These nuts. All right. Nice. So this room. I get to like look up these things again. Uh, this room has um, some glowing webs in it that are kind of illuminating everything. Hello? Still here. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, this room is kind of similar to some of the ones you ran into initially, which has just some glowing webs in it. All right. Then I will do Okay. And then when I get in here, I want to immediately look up like always. Okay. Go ahead and make perception. Can I make a perception too? Uh, yeah, go for it. Roll perception. It's on the roof. Ceiling, I mean. Man. Alright. Um, you guys don't seem to notice anything. It doesn't mean I want to walk result. in that room. <laughs> Johnny, it's safe. Get in there, champ. Alright. Oh my god, you monster. You're crazy, Jesus. All You're right. crazy. You said it was safe. I don't safe. see shit. I didn't say it's safe. I just said you didn't see anything. <laughs> but, yeah. you some It's a room with some glowing webs in it. Kind of similar to the ones you encountered before. God, more of these. I'm going to turn back and look at Varus. See if he's going to do his investigation shenanigans. What shenanigans? The ones where we hit a room and you immediately are like, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? And press your face against everything. You're right. I should I'll do that. Really <laughs> <laughs> it's got to switch out of flex mode. What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's this? Even broken furniture or anything else in here? No, nah, I mean, it's so much as some of the other rooms where it's just kind of empty and has some glowing webs in it, providing binary illumination. Okay. Okay. okay, and nothing on the ceiling. <laughs> nothing on the ceiling besides, you know, a little bit of webs here and there. And most of the webs are pretty That's much just all along the walls and the corners and stuff, so they're not really hindering you at all. Okay. I want there to be a pit somewhere that he's stepping. I don't care where. <laughs> <laughs> Feather fall, nigga. <laughs> next, next one will be a spike trap, dickhead. <laughs> I'll still fall gently on it in <laughs> so, yeah. between the spikes. No, he just has several seconds to go, shit, 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 shit. Help. No, 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 no. <laughs> the pain's prolonged. <laughs> All right, well... I made all the jokes we can about this room. <laughs> <laughs> yep. On to on the, the next, next room. room. All right, come on. I want to press my face against more walls. All right, let me... Uh... Jesus, yep. Cleric. Fuck. Real most of this. He's just excited. There you go. Oh, that room's round. Uh... Yeah, it's actually really annoying because there's no way to, like... I have to reveal everything in squares and not in circles. <laughs> <laughs> really, really annoying. <laughs> well, what's in the box? Come on, fighter, open the door. Oh, all right. oh, I don't. Can I? Do I hear anything on the other side of the door? Make a reception. You got it, boss. <laughs> don't roll one. I'm not gonna roll a one. There you go. Uh, you I was hoping you would roll a one immediately. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, your double ones. Um. Yeah, you don't hear anything beyond the door. It's a it's heavy a metal heavy. door, so it could probably block out a lot of sound as well. Sounds safe to me. Get in there, champ. Yeah, I learned my lesson with kicking doors open. I'm going to open this one. Okay. Oh, um, it is unlocked. It is unlocked. And... 
this room actually leads to a spiral staircase going down. Yeah. Going down? Yes. Oh, God. Yes. <sighs> Yell down it. Yeah, I'm yeah, not going to do that. Do... It's the it's fucking, fucking Abby all over again, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm well, just expecting the butcher to fucking pop out. I'm expecting a <laughs> Daryl actually. Yeah, if you utter the words "ah, fresh meat," that's when we all just alt F4 and go, "No, no, well, he died." <laughs> no, that's no when you that's when you just close a uh, barred door and shoot arrows through it. <laughs> no, 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 that's no. why. That's why I make a bunch of varus sized holes as I go through I the doors. Through the door. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we can all agree we're not going to go down that staircase, so I'm going to shut the door. Okay. Door shut. Good idea. Yep. I'll mark it on our map that there's a staircase. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Amazing. All right, then I'm going to proceed this way. Okay. Kind of try to peer around this corner if I can. Okay. Um, Let me go ahead and pull up this room. So this room is actually pretty empty but it is pretty large and rounded let's see if i can see if i can do anything oh maybe i can actually do this let's see if i can do this about to do a fancy fancy pants reveal right now my most ghetto reveal there is and then <laughs> all the way to there and then right click there we go yay circle <laughs> oh, what the? Uh, I hate it. <laughs> All right, then I'll just walk right here. Okay. Circle okay. rooms are terrible. <laughs> You're telling me they're actually really hard to draw. <laughs> 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 like the whole place is square, but then there's one circle room. How fucking ominous is that? Well, the uh, that room that had the altar in it was actually like had like a pointed top and. Angled walls and everything. Yes. <laughs> they did. Angles, points, corners. You know. I hate All it. Alright, so what do you wish to do in this supposedly ominous room? Is it just a just circle a... room? There's no crazy... Yeah, there's... there's no, it's. I mean, there's a lot of dust on the floor. Um, it's stone walls still. Um, no furniture or anything that could really tell you what this place is. I mean, it could be anyth anything from cafeteria gr to a barracks to anything. Do anything. <laughs> cafeteria. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the, it is a large room. <laughs> yeah, give me a couple of hard-boiled eggs and a piece of apple pie. Give me some like, prehistoric yeah. eggs. <laughs> yeah, this is a this this could be a military barracks a thousand years old and you want the eggs here? <laughs> I don't want the eggs fresh. <laughs> Never mind. Brave motherfucker. All right. What do you wish to do? What do you guys wish to do? As long as the toilets don't black backflow, it's better than my old barracks. <laughs> I'm going to investigate the room. All right. Roll investigation. Roll investigation. Yeah, I'd like to investigate also. All right, go for it. It's strange that nothing horrible has happened already now that we're near the middle of it. <laughs> Have a strange it, but, distrust of so you, you, you guys' thing is, if Flores hasn't triggered it yet, that means there's no traps. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Flores, double check and make sure you've rubbed your face against everything. <laughs> uh, Checking. Uh, uh, Nazmar, are you... Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Flores, guess what? AIDS? No, not quite. You're going to wish it was. So can, I, can I get this? Yes, I can. Uh, what? Right click like this. Update your secret door account. Oh, no, no shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I rubbed my face on a thing and it worked. Yep. That's, good. That's some good face rubbing you do there, Varus. Thanks, man. I'm always they're, rubbing they're, my face. They're pretty decent checks, too, and he, he gets them pretty good. <laughs> good work. Good work. I will take this opportunity to high five Varus. Bro fist achieved. Bow. All right, so you do find a you do find a latch on the um 
near what seems to be a hidden door. All right. I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it, guys. Okay. You don't want to look at it? Bad. Yeah. Fuck so it. So happens? You lose your hand. Eh. <laughs> That's not the worst that could happen. The worst is that it cuts off my dick. <laughs> oh, that would be the worst. Yep. Living without yeah, a dick is not really like it. Well, yeah, all, right. all right. So you pull, you pull the latch, and you hear two audible clicks. One for the door, the other for a needle that pricks your finger. God damn it. Take one point of damage, <laughs> then go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Oh, gay. <laughs> I like how oh, okay. I like how Johnny like warned you too. <laughs> True, I did. I probably nice, you rocked that. <laughs> wow. Fuck you, Johnny. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so far, I survived all take, the poison. So take one piercing and one poison damage. So two damage total. What? <laughs> I thought I passed the poison. You did. You took half. Ah. The, the needle itself did one damage. What a twat. <laughs> but the <laughs> needle. Alright, so where's this Shut at? Shut up, man. That was one sixth of my health right there. Alright, so as this door <laughs> slides open, let me go ahead and reveal what you found. Um, as the door opens, you actually feel kind of a rush of uh, cold air coming out from the opening. Um, the air here, air here is actually pretty stale, pretty stale, but it's also very cold, so it looks like this place has been sealed up for a while. Um, in the center of the room is a very large oh, wow. block of ice. You can even see like, the, the, the mist and fog like rolling off rolling of it. Off of it. Uh, get in there, Johnny! Does it look like there's anything in it? Uh, you can yeah, make a perception check. Alright, I'm gonna go follow Johnny. Get. I'll take a look. Then a book. A green All right. Rain 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 rain. Rain. I'll give it an investigation. Yep. Holy crap, Bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Killing it. Killing it. Shit, dude. I press my face against the ice and stare at it intently. Oh, there is. There is. Well, <laughs> one you one thing. Your first thing that your investigation told you when you pressed your nose against it is ice is cold. Um, <laughs> the. You definitely ice is cold. Type, type, type. <laughs> yeah, there's some ice lore for you. Yeah, uh, so you... ice is cold. Ice is cold. So yes, but what you do definitely notice is there is a black shape in there. You can't really make out exactly what it is, but there's definitely something in the ice block. Is there like a rough size to the shape? Like three feet tall, four uh, feet? I let's see. Let me look up the size of it. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's def it's definitely, it's size. definitely classified as medium, so that's why okay, it's only taken up a five, 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 five by five by five. I just want to know the the how much foot poundage of dicks is gonna fly out of there when I'm not just there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you gotta you gotta air air sight, uh, airtight seal and like compress it all. <laughs> <laughs> So it'll be an exploding. <laughs> it's like that needle bomb that you guys set off last time. <laughs> Let's all stand next to it. Except Nothing with can dildos. Go wrong. Um. Bullet yeah, I mean it's. Dragon dildos. It's around. It's around. It's about humanoid shape, probably a little bigger, but that's all you can really make out of it. All right. I'm gonna. Or at least humanoid size, thing. rather. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to turn to the other two and go, uh, what are you thinking? Well, well I mean, it's just a block of ice in a room. Yeah, but there's something in it. Really? Yeah. Can't you see that Can't black see shape? That black... I think. I think. Uh, God, open your eyes, Johnny. <laughs> open your eyes. eyes. Wow. Yeah. There is something in there. Do you want to see what, what it is? is? Yes, I do. Well, wait, oh, wait, is that... Uh... Come on, Johnny, it'll be fun. Just think of all the things you might get to smash inside of it. Well, maybe it's a person that needs help. Yeah, all right. Let's... But it might be okay. somebody... It might be Captain Evil guy that you can just smash with your hammer. You know how much you love smashing things with your hammer. I do, but... 
Well, all right. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, I have a meta question, Brian. What's up? What's up? How good is radiant, you know, spells and damage at actually melting something? Um, it's classified as like light, so it's not any better than any other type of damage. Type of damage. Okay, so it doesn't deal. It is it doesn't produce much heat? Yeah, for the most yeah. part, it doesn't. I mean, there is sort of a warmth to it, but it's kind of similar to how necrom necrotic is also considered cold, but it's not exactly cold. It's not exactly cold. Okay, I got you. Um, well, let's figure this out then. We should be in a position to where we can, you know, effectively prevent ourselves from being destroyed by this thing. But, you know, I'd still like to see what's in it. So I'm going to stand over here. You're going to corner yourself. Uh, yourself. Solid strategy. Solid strategy. Well, what are you going to do if I die? I hate you. <laughs> uh, Varys, I assume you have, you know, something that can melt the ice? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. What kind of kind wizard of would I be if I didn't have a fire spell cantrip? <laughs> All right, All right, well, then... I'm going to hit it with Ray of What's Frost. The <laughs> <laughs> what sort of wizard would I be if I didn't have a fire spell? I would tell you that I'll be Varys. <laughs> <laughs> I do have Firebolt, so I'm just going to cast Firebolt at it. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Oh, man, I gotta... All right. This is my delicate roll, everybody. All right. You definitely hit it, and you definitely uh, start melting the ice. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna it, keep it, moving around it to okay. melt it evenly. Okay. Hey Johnny, uh, put your torch to it. Well, technically he's got it. <laughs> so, I mean, he does. <laughs> Boop. Wow. Yeah, you're just you're pretty much just blasting chunks of this thing off and it's uh you also begin to notice that it's also kind of melting on its own as well as soon as you started blasting it so you're now helping this pr uh go a little bit faster do we uh, notice that it's melting on its own after that um well you notice it's melting um i mean it could very well be from the fact that you're hitting it with fire <laughs> right right um does it seem to be more than you know how it would normally melt just from a regular fire spell you're not entirely like certain <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell you've never really had the opportunity to uh, melt an entire giant block of ice before <laughs> yeah this is the first for me <laughs> <laughs> i mean mm. yeah with your arcana it seems to be going at a normal rate can i tell okay. what he's tell what he's melting free um right now you can't really make anything out of it right now like for the block itself is much bigger than whatever it is that's encased in it. So right now it's kind of he's starting from the top and going down as far as the melting is concerned. Okay, I'd actually like to... Hey, Nazmer, can I grab the torch from you? <laughs> hey, uh, Johnny, be ready just in case that's what happens. <laughs> there, I am a teen am with a team attitude, with... so I'm ready. All right. All right. Varus? Varus? What? Let me borrow your torch. Do I have the torch? Yeah, you, you remember you offered to take I it since so you don't have to hold a spell box. Oh, shit, man. I forgot about that. I've been just drunkenly <laughs> carrying this torch waving <laughs> in my hand. And if I only had oh, some right. fire. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to hold it uh, opposite the from him on the ice block as he goes around it, casting okay. firebolts. Okay. So you guys are kind of doing a concentrated effort on melting this uh, giant block of ice. I'm going to blast it again. Okay. Aw. Aw. Poor form. Uh, it, it's like it hisses a little bit. It's like tss. <laughs> Like, aw. You probably heated it more with your nose than with that 
Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to roll anything for melting with the torch? Nah, I mean, at this point, you guys are just going to keep doing it until it starts melting away entirely. So, um, you guys work on this for maybe a few minutes, and the ice pretty much melts down to the point where you can kind of start making out the uh, the shape. You can go ahead and make perception checks again. Please, dude, please, dude. Man, I cannot perceive. Mm -hmm. I could see it when there was ice blocking it, but now that's melted. <laughs> right. I see my toes. <laughs> <and they're so laughs> All right. Well, whatever this is, it's uh, it seems to be definitely not humanoid. It seems to be more of like a kind of a fleshy mass with uh, kind of bubbles on it. Is it moving? Um, at this point, since you now have a clear view of it. Those bubbles actually open up as either eyes or mouths, and all those mouths start gibbering and making weird, incoherent sounds. And it's now moving and breaking out of the ice. So, so go, oh ahead, go ahead and roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can do a Arcana roll if you wish to try to figure out what the thing is. I'll go ahead and remove this block of ice. I rolled twice, the 60 was the first one. That's fine. Uh, I will roll an Arcana. Dang! Sheesh. Well, you, you get to go first. God, why are there, spider, the why there, why are there burden spiders on here again? Because this is from last game. <laughs> no! There you go. Alright, let me switch to this. There's a 25. Definitely. Um, <laughs> All right. Okay, so with your nearly maxed out Arcana roll, you know that this amoeb amoebo or amoebo amoeba uh, sort of form is known as a gibbering mouther, which is sort of a aberration of pure chaos. Oh god, kill the demon. Fuck no. And I need to roll for initiative. Cool. Uh, can I tell I can anything else it. about it? I can just um, burn it's, my hand and not hit you guys. It's essentially it's all it does is try to devour everything. It's also so chaotic that it's everything around it tends to become a little weird as far as like its environment and people around it. Oh no, Fuck. I'm oh, a no. people. <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> wow, and I rolled that high. <laughs> well, you, Nazbur still goes first. <laughs> yes, I still beat you. Yes, you do. Well, knowing what it is, I'm going to shout to everyone, try not to touch it, and I'm going to try to leap out of the way as far as I can, and in fact, out of the door. Okay. okay. Um, go ahead shout and make a strength check. Oh boy. <laughs> I know this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Right. So, so I'll move you back here. So you're like, shit, get away from this thing. And you step onto the stone floor and your feet sink into it like it's dough. And you pretty much kind of lose your footing from the shock a bit and find that you're kind of having trouble moving around, and so your speed for this round is considered zero, so you can't move. Okay. Do I still have my action? Yes, you can still take an action. Um, actually, make a wisdom saving throw now. <laughs> Shit. Okay. And so this the room <laughs> is being filled with essentially incoherent babble that's actually kind of getting to you, except for Dazmer, who's like, ah, oh, whatever, I, I babble all the time. So, Sean, do I need to make a saving throw? No, you guys are fine at the moment. Okay, good. Also, the right now, the thing, the gibbering mouther, is currently still kind of encased in ice. He's gonna essentially break free this round. So you guys essentially have one free round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, your turn. I would Can like to take my op this opportunity to call upon Desna, and literally shout Desna. Save me. 
<laughs> and cast the spell. Do do do. I'm sorry. You, the person you called Desna, is not available at this time. Would you like to? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. I'll go ahead and make my deck saving throw. Do you get one if you're in case and ice? Eh. Apparently doesn't not. really matter. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's still get still getting fried a bit. All right. So you. you Hit it with holy fire and it sizzles a bit. Definitely a big mass of flesh that you're trying to burn at. Uh, so four radiance, got it. All right, and so Jibbering Mouther is going to go ahead and break free this round. So Varus, it's your turn. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Oh man. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Now go ahead and roll a 1d8. Uh, is this... Um... Oh god, it wouldn't even fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this like game charm me, or is it going to put me to sleep? Because no, it's not either of those. I was like, I have an advantage. Eight. Nope. Go ahead and roll 1d8. <laughs> okay. Roll insanity. All right, so the gibbering is actually con pretty much giving you a sort of a confusion effect, and you actually are going to go ahead and make a melee attack against Nazmer. Actually, wait, it's random. Oh, God. So it's a, it's a melee attack against a random creature in range. Um, Which is the only creature in range. Is the oh, wait, it is that. Sorry, I, I'm getting, I, I keep thinking you're Johnny for some reason. So, yeah, go ahead and make a melee attack against the uh, Jibbering Mouther. You can just oh, use whatever God. melee weapon you want. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, use your God. best one. Use your best one. There it goes. <laughs> Everybody prepare your butts. <laughs> Hold on to your butt. All right, I'm just going to say you miss, because that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and that's pretty much you're going to be action for this round, Johnny. Uh, J J Johnny, all of it? yeah, because you attacked. Damn, <laughs> I did so much. Yay! All right, so Johnny, go ahead and roll one d eight. Sorry, David. Oh. <laughs> uh, this round you do nothing. I've got to make my move. All right. Nasper, go ahead and uh, make your wisdom saving throw. Okay, you're good. Go ahead and if you want to, if you want to try moving, you'll have to make a strength check. No, I know exactly what to do. Okay. I, okay. I would not stand next to me. Well, maybe I'll get to move. We'll see. Uh, just a second. You need to find the spell. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. He's he's a cooking something up. It's gonna be a good one. Just you wait, shambling mass. It's a coming. It's a coming. Okay, oh, I'm waiting. Okay, I'm... You will not stop us from our mission. The uh, reckoning is coming. Inflict wounds. All right. Man. And you. Sweet roll. And you definitely oh, hit. And you hit. Really with a ten? <laughs> Holy Whoa. Dude, this thing is a mass of flesh. <laughs> I mean, doesn't. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a... you touched it. Gross. This isn't Pathfinder yeah. where a mass of flesh has 30 AC for no reason. <laughs> yeah, so gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me... I'm just checking to see if it actually has any resistances. It doesn't. <laughs> ha! Suck it, noob! So you definitely take... You pretty much press your hand against either... Well, you try to press it against a mass of flesh, and you probably and you actually probably stabbed it in the eye accidentally because its eyes and mouths are constantly moving around. Moving around. And well, you pretty much unleash a, a blast of necrotic energy right into its thing. <laughs> it's definitely, and pretty much all the mouths are now gibbering and screeching very angrily and in, are in a lot of pain. Um, you still have a move action if you want to try moving.
Um, can I can I get a bonus to parry instead? And um, just no, that's actually a, uh, there's there's a action called dodge, but that's a standard action. You can't use it as a movement. Right. I'm I'm not looking to dodge. I'm just looking to get a slight bonus to AC. And yeah, there's nothing you can yeah, you can't sacrifice movement for AC. Okay. In that case, uh, is, is there like a half weight action? Not really. I mean, you probably should take your action now if you got it. I, I really don't have one. That's what I'm asking. Well, I'm, I, the only thing is, is do you want to try to move out of the room? No. Okay. No. Okay. I am wholeheartedly pissed off this thing, and I hate it with the right. fiber of my being. Okay. In that case, it's going to go to Jibbering Mouther's turn. And it tries to lunge at you, and thankfully misses. Yeah, that does not hit my AC. Yep. So, uh, Varus, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. You got it, champ. All right. You can act normally. What do you wish to do? Woo! I was not prepared for this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cast Witch Bolt. Um, is that a ranged attack spell? Yes. If okay, if you do that in melee, you gonna you will have disadvantage. But what if I move here? Um, you can move. You'll have to make a first. You have to make the strength check to move through this doughy floor, and oh and, god, and it'll also have an attack opportunity. Okay, you made the strength check. I'll do the, I'll attack, do opportunity. the attack opportunity. Oh god. Prepare your butts. AC 14. Oh god, I think that hits. You know that <laughs> hits. I don't know who the that fuck I'm joking. Uh, why'd you move? Does hit. Of course it hits. Why'd you move? <laughs> because, man, I'm not getting my dick chopped off because I'm casting. <laughs> your dick is being well, chopped off. I'm getting my dick chopped off moving or dick chopped off casting, or I can just stand there like a bumbling fuckwit. <laughs> I feel like somebody's talking about me, but I'm too busy staring straight ahead at nothing. All right, <laughs> this is gonna this is, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Probably not gonna hurt that. Thirteen oh damage. Oh. I'm dead. I'm you're not dead. dead. You're unconscious. Whatever. I'm dead. I'm dying. <laughs> 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 it's your well, head's, your head's zero now. Zero. You guys can do the thing. All right, Johnny, it's your turn. Go ahead and make your. Uh, make your wisdom safe throw. Jesus. Well, I hope I do. You do. Yeah. Go, Johnny. <laughs> All right. Gonna go from staring straight ahead at nothing to be like, whoa, oh, God, oh, <laughs> See Varus on the floor and be like, ah, things drastically change. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay, drastically. All right, I'll just say you miss. Do you, do you, have, do you wish to do anything else this round? Uh, since he already blew his attack of opportunity, does he get another one for whatever no. reason? No. You can move oh, if, you if you want. Yeah, right, I'm glad I can help you guys. You can also do action surge if you need to. That's that's part of my plan. I All right. Well, first check. go ahead and do your go ahead and do your move first. Which go ahead and do your strength check. Yeah, that's what I want. That's... You got it. Even I passed the strength check. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn. You can move freely where you wish to go. Well, I did. Where you wish to go. Okay. Go there. Well, let's... that wouldn't be an attack of opportunity anyway. Yeah, you're right. No, it is it? not. Then, where are my weapons? I'll action surge and try to take another swing. Okay. You hit. Mm. So your heavy maul smashes into the mast like it, with a heavy splat. And it takes it. Alright, so Nazmer, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, 